All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people, lovers of freedom all over the world. Wherever you are joining us from today, this is Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform that gives you only quality news and information on all the activities happening in Biafran territory. Please subscribe to this channel if you've not yet subscribed and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can get notified whenever we drop our spanking news. That is one thing you're sure of. Only the quality news will they give back-to-back -back info as it is hot. Now, straight to the issue on ground, you know, because um, it is an issue, actually. Um, it is a very serious issue in the Biafran struggle. This video you're about to watch um, is a full-blown address state of the union address you know by the prime minister simon ekba and this address he was able to address critical issues that we've been talking here on the biafran um, struggle at least at this same um, critical time in the biafran struggle because a lot of things have been going wrong lately in as much as we are winning a lot of things have been going lately going wrong lately so many people are actually getting it wrong. Let me tell you one thing you have to understand is, if you're in, then be in. You mustn't have double mind, you know, in your decision making. If the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa has actually been listening to what people have been saying, you know, the haters of um, Biafra and the haters of freedom, and those who actually love Biafra but they don't like him. Because I want you to understand there are people who claim they lo love Mazanam de Kanu but they don't love Ekpa. So if he has been listening to their side talks, the, the reality is that, you know, we wouldn't have gotten to the level we have gotten right now. That is just the truth. We wouldn't have gotten to the level where we have gotten now. In fact, people are even scared. Of claiming that they are Biafrans. Currently, if you look at it, you might not blame them because of um, the prosecutions that you know that they are being gotten by the Nigerian government. And the big question is, the way you know the interest the Nigerian government are putting in the southeastern part of Biafran land. Why can't they put the same interest in combing out the insecurity that is killing them and, and driving them crazy in the northern part of the country? They won't. Because of they know they don't really get much from those, from those same states. They don't get much from those northern states. All their hosts all their strength is in the southeastern part of Biafran, in fact, Biafran territory generally, because of the fact that they know that the land is flowing with milk and honey. And it, the truth is that they know, they know the resources that is in Biafran land. And that is why it is better for us, you know, as a people as Biafrans to work together so that we can get Biafra and manage our own resources, our own kind. We can do better, we can manage it better. If you do not believe in Biafra, I believe in Biafra. Enjoy this wonderful State of the Nation address by the Prime Minister Simon Epa. Good afternoon, okay, we move. fellow Biafrans all over the world. I welcome all of you this evening to this uh, State of the Nation address on this day, the fifth day of March 2024. We are in a very, very important time in the history of our liberation. This evening,
I am very, very delighted, very happy to bring good news of the Biafra Republic government in exile to the people of Biafra. We have made tremendous success. We've recorded very good success in our quest for liberation. I wish to use this opportunity to thank Biafra people in the homeland, the entire 70 to 80 million Biafrans who have suffered, sacrificed everything to demonstrate their readiness to exit the terrorist country called Nigeria. I know that Nigeria is Sorry about that. For go on. To exit the terrorist country called Nigeria. I know that Nigeria is. That means is from the of state of the Biafra de facto government in the homeland for the establishment of Biafra police force. Today, my fellow Biafrans, as we look forward to an independent state of the United States of Biafra, where crime will be reduced to zero, where the rule of law will be supreme where justice will take place, where perpetrators of crimes will be held accountable to face the law, where our law enforcement agents will not be corrupt, I wish to announce to the Biafra people the establishment of the Biafra Police Force Act 062024. Biafra Republic government in exile has on 4th of March, which was yesterday, an emergency cabinet meeting voted for the establishment of the Biafra State Police. People of Biafra, as you all know, why Nigeria continues to collapse it is the responsibility of the Biafra government to provide alternative for the Biafra people. The insecurity all over Nigeria, the incapacitated Nigeria terrorist police have not just added to the insecurity, but they themselves have been found wanting in many degrees of crime, ranging from kidnapping, banditry, as extortion of money, arm robbery, and name it. I want to bring to your attention the history of police. The Police Act of 1861 was a law passed by the British Parliament to establish professional police force in England and Wales. Prior to this particular act, law enforcement in England and Wales was largely the responsibility of local parishes and was often carried out by volunteers or part-time constables. The Police Act aimed at addressing the growing problems of crimes and disorder by creating a centralized professional police force. The Police Act of 1861 created the Metropolitan Police Force, which was responsible for the policing of the metropolitan area of London. 
The Act also allowed other cities and towns to establish their own police forces, provided they were approved by the government. The new police forces were tasked with maintaining law and order, preventing crime, and preserving the peace of the people of the United Kingdom. The Police Act of 1861 was a significant milestone in the development of the modern policing in Britain. It marked the beginning of a centralized and professional police force. And it set the standard for other countries, including the United States, to follow. The Act remained an important piece of legislation in the history of policing and continues to use as a model for other countries seeking to establish a professional police force. Biafra government today will not be an exception. We have joined the League of History having enacted the Biafra Police Act 062024. Every Biafra state will receive a directive and instruction as to the process and procedures in making sure that our state and communities are protected by the Biafra Police Force. Fellow Biafra, as we are making history, it is very imperative for every one of you to understand that while the Nigeria has collapsed, we are offering alternative to the Biafra citizens. Most important being the database, making sure that we minimize or eradicate any forgery, any forgery of any kind in Biafra nation. To this end, the Biafra Republic government in exile on the fourth day of March 2024 voted and approved the Biafra Security Administration website under Article 2 of 2024. Fellow Biafrans, I will also like to share light on the security administration. Today, hundreds of millions of users depend on reliable access to the computing and information services for businesses. Just like every other government, educational and for personal activities, the growth of the internet puts a world of information and services at our fingertips yet also open computers to attack from everywhere around the globe. The same network that permit terrorists like Boko Haram, ISWAP, Taliban, permit them to read email from anywhere around the globe. The same network also is very, very important for the government. From that same airport in Singapore, the internet is also being powered for the student in Romania to release a calm computer virus that disable computers and businesses that depend on them. In addition, as a complicity of computer system increases, new vulnerabilities are discovered each day. There is a worldwide community of people, usually referred to as hackers or crackers, who work to discover and exploit such vulnerabilities to attack and gain control of system of government. 
sharing their techniques through various underground channels. Computer across the internet has been subjected to worms, denial of services attack, password sniffing, and other malicious activity, leading to significant inconvenience and loss of productivity for legitimate users. Government not in exception. For this reason, fellow Biafrans, among others, the Biafra Republic government in exile has voted the approval of BSA under Article 2 of 2024. BSA stands for Biafra Security Administration. The BSA is tasked with the development, administration, and protective security measures for all Biafra government agencies, technology, and systems, ensuring the smooth operational environment necessary for the confident and secure conduct of government information technology solutions, citizens' information processing, management, and security. We manage security risk proportionally with the BSA, we are effectively enabling our government capture, process, and manage all Biafran citizens' information and other security assets. Today, on this note, I hereby unveil the Biafra Security Administration website. The website will be posted immediately after this address for every Biafran to go and take a look at what your government has done. We take database very seriously. We understand that database will on its own curb 50% of crimes in any nation that is well organized. We have learned from the best and like we have promised Biafra people, we are bringing Finland to Biafra. The approval of the identification card under Article 2, 2024, United States Biafra identity card is a document with a photo that is issued to provide or to prove the identity of Biafran citizens. I'm sorry. I want us to also remember that the registration for the Finland is on. It has begun. And uh, the number of people needed, just 1,000 people. So make sure you get yourself into the midst of the 1,000 people so you don't register the time the system will tell you the number has been concluded. So I beg you all, remember it's very important. And in this time around, what we are going to see in Finland will be greater, ever greater than what you saw in Finland the last time we went there last year. This time, so many things will be unveiled. So many things. You know, when we went to Finland last year, the Biafran army was unveiled. People, whoa, it was like a thing in broad daylight. This time, Biafra will be declared. Try and be there. That's all I can tell you. Just try and be there. We continue. Who is permanently resident in diaspora? This identity card will serve as an official means of identifying Biafran citizens around the world as we move very quickly to the liberation phase of Biafra. This identity card will also unite all Biafra people across the globe. Fellow Biafrans, may I also use this opportunity to inform you the sources that the Biafra government have recorded within short period of time. At this point, 
we have over 4,000 Biafrans listening in live on one channel. Of course, it passed 4,000. No, it passed 4,000. Uh, Stella, Stella, my dear sister, I greet you. I see you, Stella. Every other person, George, Dolo for Dolo Force, my dear person. I greet everyone, everyone. Whether I know call your name, I call your name. I love you, pass. So, you know, now people are getting, you know, the, the international journalists are now coming to take from the government in our side. They are coming now to get news. And now, very soon, very soon, you see these big um, shots like CNN, um, Al Jazeera, they will be forced to beg our PM to give them news. Just a little time to come. You will see them. Go and do your accreditation. It is on. Just five days event. Limit is 1,000 people. 1,000, just 1,000 people. On the fourth day of March 2024, the Biafra Republic Government in Exile Cabinet voted for the establishment of the Biafra Ministry of Justice under Article 072024. What Nigeria did not offer you, the justice you seek, Biafra will offer you the justice. Equity, fairness, which will later on lead to progress. So we are adopting a different system, ju justice system in the United States of Biafra. The Ministry of Justice of the United States of Biafra will maintain and develop legal order and legal protection. The justice system ministry will reinforce the structure of democracy and safeguard citizens' fundamental right. The right that is never protected under Nigeria. The ministry will be responsible for drafting the key legislation maintaining legal order and for ensuring the proper functioning of the judicial system of Biafra. Under this Ministry of Justice, judicial power will be exercised by the independent courts. The Minister of Justice will bear political responsibility for the activities of the Ministry and on its administrative branches. The administrative branch of the Ministry of Justice of Biafra will be very extensive. The ministry will guide and direct operation of the order of Biafra agencies and public bodies in its administrative branch and monitor their development. Under this system, we are going to be the best in the world within a few years. Fellow Bia friends, I wish to congratulate all of you today for this milestone. On this note, as we move very, very fast to our liberation, activities will start in Biafra land in a couple of days. The self-referendum is ongoing. The first phase of the self-referendum will end in May. After that, we are going to review the process and go to the second phase of the self-referendum. Ladies and gentlemen of the press that have gathered here today, fellow Biafrans all over the world, I wish to announce the establishment of the Biafra Constitutional Committee. If you hear your name, you have been called to serve Biafra. This committee is subject to change. Names will be added as at when need. And also names will be removed 
when the need arises. We have Janine Condole. Janine Condole is the attorney for the Biafra Republic government in exile. Based in Philippines. We have Mazi Victor Adim as a member of the Constitutional Committee. We have the Chief of Staff of the Biafra Republic Government in Nezai, Dr. Ngozi Orabeze, as a member and a coordinator of this committee. Victor Adim will be the chairman of this Constitutional Committee. Mazi Luki Wunze, the Ambassador of Biafra in Australia will be a member of this committee. Dr. Dorothy Adana Anthony, who is serving the Woman and Child Service Welfare, you will be a member of this committee. Emmanuel Yakubu from Igala State will be a member of this committee. Manel is the sole administrator of the Gala State of Biafra. Bekoyo Efiong. Bekoyo Efiong will be a member of this committee. Bekoyo Efiong is the administrator of the Oro Aquic State Executive Biafra, United States of Biafra in the homeland. We have Archbishop Etata as a member, the sole administrator of Econ State, Biafra Republic, government in exile, and the de facto government in the homeland. We have Tubabim as a member, Douglas, as a member of the committee, Constitutional Drafting Committee. Legislation maintaining legal order and for ensuring the proper functioning the fourth day of March 2024, the Biafra Republic Government in Exile Cabinet voted for the establishment of the Biafra Ministry of Justice under Article 072024. What Nigeria did not offer you the justice you seek, Biafra will offer you the justice. Equity, fairness, which will later on lead to progress. So we are adopting a different system, ju justice system in the United States of Biafra. The Ministry of Justice of the United States of Biafra will maintain and develop legal order and legal protection. The justice system ministry will reinforce the structure of democracy and safeguard citizens' fundamental right. The right that is never protected under Nigeria. The ministry... I uh, Sorry, I have to go back to this point because that is something we must understand this ministry of justice or for justice is a ministry that will give you justice it will not be a ministry of kangaroo judgment it will not be a ministry of justice where somebody that studied agriculture will become a minister for justice it will not be a ministry for justice where somebody that did Sharia law will come and be your judge in a secular state. It will not be a ministry where a super cop that is a criminal that is a that 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 has been indicted or, or seen with proofs evidence that he is a drug dealer will be. Uh, 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 discharged and acquitted. Why those that did nothing, 